Hello all, my name is Krishnayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, today in this particular video, we are going to understand what is statistics and what are its type. I know this particular video had to be put very, very much early, but uh, I really wanted to put it right now because in the recent interviews for some of our subscribers who had made a recent career transition, uh, transition, this particular question was actually asked. So I really want to explain it. Please make sure that you watch this video till the end. You'll be able to understand a whole lot of things with respect to this. So let's go and first understand the definition of statistics. So over here, statistics is a discipline that concerns the collection, organization, analysis, interpretation and presentation of the data. So the most important thing is that we have some data and you know, in statistics, what we do, we basically analyze that particular data, interpret some of the information from that particular data, visualize the data, summarize the data and do a lot of activities, right? And that is why, you know, if we are able to do that many things in with respect to this particular data, so it is very, very heavily used in machine learning, right? Because in machine learning, we'll be doing this kind of task a lot. Now coming to the different types of statistics, okay? And I'm going to take a lot of examples over here, guys, to make you understand what all things comes in this particular statistical terms. We are going to understand some of the mathematical terms too, you know? So to understand what are the different types of statistics, we have two different types. One is descriptive stats, and the other one is something called as inferential stats. Now, with respect to descriptive stats, so, uh, it actually involves, you know, analyzing the data analyzing data I can also say summarizing data right summarizing data okay or it can also be organizing data right we can do a lot of stuff with respect to descriptive strategy still I'll make you understand the what is the exact difference between descriptive and inferential but please uh, just understand that in descriptive statistic it focuses more on summarizing the data analyzing the data organizing the data in the form of numbers and graphs in the form of in the form of i'll write it in red color number and graphs this is very very much important now when i when i say with respect to number uh, if i'm trying to organize this particular data or do the analysis of this particular data in numbers and graph how, by what all ways we can come up with different different graphs right so i'll just try to show you we have some of the example like bra plot right we have something like histograms so these are our different different types of plotting libraries you know which we basically use we use something called as pie chart right we we use bar plot uh, histogram pie chart suppose i want to specifically use pdf that is probability density function cdf cumulative density function so this kind of plotting graphs are basically used to analyze this kind of data you know to visualize this data right over here visualization is also very very much important because that visualization report from that particular visualization stuff we will be able to interpret some information and tell to our stakeholders right so all these things very very important important plot you know we may talk about something like uh, 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 suppose if I have a, a particular example I may talk about normal distribution based on the normal distribution or Gaussian distribution I may interpret some of the information you know so all those kind of interpretation analysis visualization can will be a part of this descriptive statistics okay uh, not only this guys if i include my third point my third point is basically with respect to measure of central tendency right measure of central tendency now if you don't know about measure of central tendency guys i can talk about mean median mode that also gets included in descriptive statistics always remember guys whenever we talk about descriptive statistics our data may be a population data also it can be a sample data also it is very very much important to understand guys okay it can be a population data it can be a sample data that basically means we can analyze the data sets with respect to both population and sample, we can apply this kind of plots to both this kind of data set. We may apply different type of measure of central tendency like mean, median, mode. If I talk about central tendency, this is basically mean, median, mode, right? I hope everybody is familiar with this because I've already made this kind of videos in my statistics playlist, right? Now coming to the fourth point, you know, there is also something called as measure of variance, measure of variance, right? 
now when i say measure of variance obviously there is something called as standard deviation there is something called as variance all these things you know will definitely be a part of descriptive statistics okay it will definitely be a part of descriptive statistics now the main question that arises then what is inferential statistics right inferential statistics let me tell you guys let's let's take a very good example suppose i have some kind of population data set okay suppose let's let's imagine that uh, recently a uh, election has happened uh, probably in west bengal probably in one of the state in india any place okay now if we really need to find out what is the exit poll exit poll is basically uh, to find out the information which party has the highest chances to win you know now suppose in this particular state there are somewhere around 7 million people okay we cannot go and ask each and every person that whom they have actually voted you know so what we do is that we try to just take a sample of this probably and we try to perform this exit poll exit poll what it does from different different location they'll try to take a sample data and then tell they'll try to ask whom do you vote okay usually the news people do do this you know when they want to take out this particular exit poll now suppose from this particular population of, sorry from this particular sample remember the 7 million is basically my population right and this is basically my sample which i have actually selected now suppose from the sample says that okay from all the sample says that party 1 has uh, will win probably this many seats you know we we have just taken some sample of information from every part of this particular state right so they say that okay party 1 won will win this many states party 2 will win this many uh, seats you know party 3 will win this many seats so then they will try to decide that what will the percentage with respect to the exit poll that people will be winning or the parties will be winning over there right so this particular information what we are doing from the entire population we are just taking a sample and we are inferencing some information we are inferencing some information and we are coming to a conclusion saying that okay this party will win right that is the important of inferential statistics so in inferential statistics guys from the entire population you know from the population you know so uh, i'll just remove this population what we do in uh, in this kind of things is that we take a sample from a population and then we try to do some kind of test okay it can be any kind of test okay and then we come up with an inference and conclusions for that specific population for that specific population this is very very much important to understand right we take the sample from from that particular population we use that particular sample data and we make an inference we make a conclusion we make a decision specific to that specific population now in this particular case if i really want to find out the exit poll i cannot go and ask each and every person whom did you vote so what i'll do is that i'll take a sample of this particular data and i will come to a conclusion and inference for the entire population always remember in inferential statistics there is also something called as confidential intervals confidence intervals right so this is also very very much important that is called as confidence intervals now what are the examples with respect to some of the inferential statistics that we usually do let's understand that so some of the examples that i really want to recall is something called as z test right t test we do a lot of hypothesis testing in this right hypothesis testing right because in hypothesis testing in this kind of test we also use some kind of confidence intervals okay someone third one may be chi square test right we do this kind of test these are some of the examples with respect to inferential statistics that we usually perform so in short if i really want to understand what exactly is the difference between descriptive statistics and inferential statistics in descriptive statistics you take the population or the sample data you analyze the data summarize the data you explore that particular data you visualize that data in the form of numbers and graphs now some of the graphs that you use is by pl uh, bar plot uh, histogram scattered plot pie chart pdf cdf normal distribution gaussian distribution different types of distribution you use some of the concepts like measure of central tendency which we have discussed over here right like mean median mode measure of variance like standard deviation uh, and variance right then with respect to inferential statistics the only main aim is that 
we take a sample of the data we do some kind of test and then we come to a conclusion for that specific population right this is only the basic difference guys and uh, as i have already defined statistics this is how you should probably explain the interviewer and that is the reason why i have made this detailed video to make you understand so i hope you like this particular video please do subscribe to the channel if you have not already subscribed i'll see you in the next video have a great day ahead thank you one doll bye bye